Welcome to Four Oak Street. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you um, what I've done to set up a test for the new control panel, which I think is the next logical step in the Four Oaks uh, area, the new area, which has got uh, around about 16 sets of points. So um, the new panel will be here. So I'm going to show you what I've been doing on that. Just so I can change points and um, obviously test the track. So effectively here what we've got are one of, is one of those connector blocks that normally has a, uh, this is the male and a female. But what I've been able to do is connect all the points into them, all but the three to the left. And uh, by using a, um, a 9 volt battery, you'll hear that uh, the points change. So I'm also going to be discussing about how I thought my track was fairly clean, but it turned out it wasn't. And then we're going to give some steam as a quick run. First part of Four Oaks where the majority of the points are, I think there's about 30 something, I used the DCC classic motor which um, was their first uh, point motor out and um, has proved to be really good so really no complaints however since then they've um, moved on over those years and I think now they offer the classic um, which I think they call the classic analog and now they do the IP analog and then they do the digital one so I was weighing up would I go digital or not where I could have used my my handset but at the end of the day I still wanted to have some method of not just changing the points but seeing the direction I suppose without necessarily having to go and look every time although I do find myself doing that <laughs> a bit too often maybe I don't trust myself so what's changed well these motors are different in as much as these are sort of powered all the time taking a voltage and these tend to take a quick snap from what I can gather but what that means is that if you're doing LEDs on a panel, they have to be wired quite different. So you do get one of these uh, brochures, um, which is very, very good, well done, with various uh, wiring and stuff like that on it. So um, this is obviously the initial panel, which I'll just show you now. So this one basically is um, when you, you look here, the idea is you should be able to see the route set by the green lights that are um, actually lit. So some people will do the bicolours and have red and green. I just thought, well, I'll have just green. So you can see that's the bottom of my layout, the fiddle yard. That is the... Um, the far side of the, the lower section there which has got a passing loop so if I change the passing loop both points are wired together so what you'll see now is um, you'll see the lights on here change and you'll hear the points change then what we've also got here is we've got a crossover so obviously they're not lit but the moment I touch those you'll see now they're lit and back again and then we've got the the lower section so how they were wired and I'll just show you my quick mock-up 
I've used these switches which have this um, back if you like which takes away the need for wiring if it's a double pole double throw so center off now with the old coal bolts um, you would basically um, have power in on two terminals and then you've got two switches built in where you can have a common and obviously the power positive power negative so what I did on that first panel I used these three where my finger is these three little terminals here and what that becomes is common in the middle power and net one side negative on the other so what that means is then you could have those bicolor LED so when it powers one way it's green when it's the other way it's red vice versa but with these the IP uh, analog um, they actually require the LEDs to be wired slightly different so what we've got here is hopefully you can uh, you can see it now what we've got here now is I've got a 9 volt battery two wires going to the switch two wires coming out of the switch and I've just used a piece of track here so the one is just like an extension of the cable if you like and the two wires go to the point motor but what I've done here is we've got two wires uh, coming off those power bus we've got on the positive we've got a um, I think it's a 10k resistor and we've got six LEDs three are facing one way with the long leg one side and three have the long leg on the other side so with this jig it's actually just two pieces of track um, that I just put in a slot so what this means now if I throw the switch so that changes the point and we've now got those three LEDs lit up if I now change it the other way there's the other three set up and I'll just show you the point as it moves so you can see the motion so it's the point to the left and then back again so they are um, a nice motor and as they get used more they obviously become fairly smooth so what this will enable me to do now this will enable me to draw the basic plan of the station so you've got a uh, two passing loops and a crossover and then obviously we've got this uh, this yard down at the bottom there um, and then obviously on the one route to the point you'll have the LEDs facing one way might use four or five um, and then on the other side of the route as per there you'll have them on the other side so um, effectively I'll be doing that for um, each of the points now the good thing is with uh, there's a lot of passing loops on this when I say passing loops well there's a couple there and effectively the whole fiddle yard are passing loops um, which means you can have one switch and you can have um, obviously the two point motors so one switch operating the point motors so that's my plan and obviously with this it has a center off and and that's it so these are a couple of spares that I've got but um, very good and there's there are different ways of wiring um, and obviously for those that don't want to get the soldering iron out now there's a whole bunch of options that they uh, they do offer in terms of um, also obviously going the full hog and um, going through to uh, computer control which um, I don't know maybe I'm, I'm thinking about that because I've realized that this is quite um, 
quite a big layout to operate four trains. You have to have eyes everywhere. What I have been doing is I've been experimenting with um, four throttles on my iPad. I have the Wi-Fi. So this is actually a four throttle um, method that you can use or you can go back to a yard throttle or just a twin. So that's how the twin looks and obviously you've got various functions but this is operating off my MRC which is like the Gauge Master Prodigy and um, using their Wi-Fi and using uh, Wii Throttle Lite. So uh, this gives you the ability to get to four throttles very quickly without having to key them to stop them or hitting the, uh, the, uh, the stop button. Here we have the city of Birmingham. Unfortunately, my favourite and my football team, so I had to buy that loco. So reversing down now to pick up some coaches. Great central. City of Birmingham now coming through. 